Hi, I'm Moms Mabley, and you just walked in the trailers from hell. 1967 was a pivotal year for the movie industry. It marked the end of the vaunted studio system and the beginning of the new Hollywood. Pictures like The Graduate and Bonnie and Clyde were harbingers of things to come, while movies like Thoroughly Modern Millie and The Dirty Dozen upheld the traditional end. It was also a momentous year for Sidney Poitier, who starred in three of the year's biggest hits, Guess Who's Coming to Dinner, The Sir with Love, and the film that eventually topped them all at the Oscars, In the Heat of the Night. I loved it when it came out, and I love it even more today, because while it has a definite message, it never forgets its primary duty, to entertain us. On your feet, boy. I mean now! Oh, you don't mess around with Warren Oates, even if you're Sidney Poitier, but he soon gets the message, as does redneck Sheriff Rod Steiger. The trailer sells the movie as a straight-ahead thriller, downplaying to some extent the racial angle, which was likely the smart thing to do. Indeed, one reason this picture is still as fresh and relevant as it was over 50 years ago is that, to reverse another 60s movie, the message becomes the spoonful of sugar, while the whodunit aspect remains a dominant theme, even though this trailer practically gives the killer's identity away. But it also manages to include the lines that became most memorable, like, They call me Mr. Tibbs. I got the motive which is money and the body which is dead. And this one. Pay you $162.39 a week just to look at bodies. Why can't you look at this one? Why can't you look at it for yourself? I do not want that Negro officer taken off this case. I need a few things, such as ammonium hydrosulfide, benzidine, superoxide of hydrogen. I love this scene where he rattles off all the things he requires. Indeed, Jewison, Mirish, and Siliphant knew this material was really special, and they were careful not to be too aggressive about it, letting it seep through the cracks via verbal exchanges and the subtlety of facial expressions and body language. Compared to Guess Who's Coming to Dinner, which now seems frozen in amber, it feels like it was made yesterday. Though, given the issues at hand, that's not necessarily a good thing. The cast is an appealing mix of vets like Lee Grant, Larry Gates, and William Schaller, as well as newcomers like Scott Wilson, Anthony James, and the hotter-than-hot Quentin Dean, whom I'm surprised never caught on. Throw in Haskell Wexler's cinematography, Hal Ashby's editing, a fantastic score by Quincy Jones, and the greatest ever title song, Wailed by Ray Charles, and you've got a film for the ages. But you'd never know all this from the trailer, which makes it look like just another action mystery and completely misses the humor, though you didn't often hear the word abortion in 1967. But like I said, it got butts in the seats, and that's what really mattered then. The rest was decided by history. Now, I'm gonna shut up and let's listen to Ray. In the heat of the night. Seems like the cold sweat creeping across my brow. 